Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Season 3 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 11 and 36. I'm here at Kansas Speedway, here in Kansas, and, uh, forgot what the running of the race is. I, uh, oh, 5 Hour Energy 500. There you go. Just remembered it just now. So, for the running of the 5 Hour Energy 500. So, it's going to be 80 laps here at Kansas Speedway. It's a mile and a half track. Um, and I got the pole for this race. Uh, my third pole of the Let's Play. My uh, second pole in a row after I got the pole at Talladega Super Speedway. And I got the win at Talladega Super Speedway too. Kind of in a bullshit way, I will say. Because only three cars battled for the win at the end. Which was, I'll be honest, that was pretty boring. And I really apologize you had to witness that. But, uh, listen. I knew between me, Justin Algar, and Regan Smith, I was probably going to have the best car to win that race. So I did. So I've won five out of the first ten races. I've won 50% of the race so far. Now we're going to race 11. What's going to happen here after I start on the pole? I'm driving the Mobile One paint scheme as well. So let's just get right on into it and see what happens. Another mile and a half track. I've been successful at mile and a half track so far. So here we are at Kansas Speedway. Here in Kansas for the running of the 5 Hour Energy 500. Yes. So, like I said, I've been successful at mile and a half track so far. I got second at, uh, well, I got the win at Atlanta. got second at Las Vegas. Then got the win at Texas. What's going to happen here? So, yep, I started on the pole for this race. Jeff Gordon will start second. Uh, Eric Almarola starts third. And Kurt Busch starts fourth. Who likes to see a flyover at night, right? And then there you see the cars lined up on pit road as well. And there's the winner's trophy if you win here at Kansas Speedway. Let's see if I could get that trophy. Maybe continue my good run so far in this Let's Play. So here we go. The pace car is off. I will lead the field down to the green flag alongside Jeff Gordon. As we're set to go for 80 laps here at the mile and a half Kansas Speedway. Race 11. Green flag is in the air and we're underway here at Kansas Speedway. Off turn number four, it looks like I'm going to lead the first lap of the race. Good start for me. Eric Almarola moves up to the second spot. It looks like I'm trying to pull away right now, which is a good thing. I'm going to lead this lap as well. Oh, Eric Almarola right there behind me. Off turn number four again. I'm going to lead the first three laps here at Kansas Speedway. I'm leading the race. Eric Amarola second. Jeff Gordon third. And Brian Vickers fourth. So, so far, so good for me in the first three laps. Now we're down the back straightaway again. I'm pulled away by two to three car lengths. Or I should say three tenths. I'm going to try to run the middle to outside lane because I seem like that's where my strong point is on mile and a half tracks. Except when I raced at Texas Motor Speedway, I had to run the bottom lane most of the time because the, every time I was battling with someone for the lead, like Greg Biffle early on in the race and then Riga Smith towards the end, they picked the middle lane. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to pass them on the bottom lane. It paid off for me at the end when I uh, ran the bottom lane, got by Regan Smith coming to the line. And won by a bumper over Regan Smith. Dale Knight Jr. has moved up to the fourth spot. He's still battling for the fourth spot right now. Five laps completed now here at 
Kansas Speedway. Seems like the top two, which is me and Eric Amarola, seem to pull away. From third on back. Basically about a second and a half ahead of Jeff Gordon. So, so far, so good going there. It looks like I'm trying to pull away from Eric Almirola right now. It's no surprise that I'm running out front here at Kansas Speedway. I mean, yeah, it's considering it's a mile and a half racetrack and this is where I've been strong all Let's Play Long. Like I said, I mentioned I got the win at Atlanta Motor Speedway, then finished second at Las Vegas, and then got the win at Texas Motor Speedway. So mile and a half tracks have been treating me good. I remember going into season two of the of the NASCAR 15 Let's Play. I think I've only had what, like three wins going into this race. Now I'm at five wins in the next season. So I've turned things around this season than what I did at the beginning of last season. Remember season two, I didn't win the championship. I didn't even make the final round. Look at this lead I have right now, six tenths over Eric Amarola, but look at the lead from uh, the gap between second and third. Two and a half seconds now. So me and Eric Amarola has checked out from the field right now. off turn number four. Ten laps completed now here at Kansas Speedway. I'm leading the race. Eric Almirola second, Jeff Goyne third, and Dale Knight Jr. fourth. Speaking of Eric Almirola, he has the fastest lap of the race so far. Not by much over me, as you can see. 29.77 is the best lap of the race set by Eric Almirola. Then mine's a 29.78 back on lap two, so I'm just 100 off his fast lap. As Amarola and I are still pulling away. I'm doing a good job holding up this race car in the corners too. Like I let it go into the middle and then it goes to the outside lane as, I, as soon as I hit the center of the corner. So far that seems to work for me. car might get tighter as the run goes on though. A little bit up, a little bit up high than I expected. That's Kurt Busch. Took the fourth spot away from Dale Knight Jr. Now the third spot away from Jeff Gordon maybe. And Eric Amarola has caught me a bit. He's right there. Looks like I'm getting away from Marola again. So that's good. Oh, I went a little bit up high. Hit the wall, and now here comes Marola. A little bit of a mistake. You know, my car is starting to get tighter. I've noticed in the past couple laps. Marola now to the race lead. Can I chase down Marola again? Maybe get back that race lead. Got a mark on the side of the car now. Damn. Now on the outside of Almirola for the lead again. See if I can grab it. Here I come on the outside. Whoa! 
side by side now between Amarola and I. I lead at the line there, so Amarola did lead a lap though. He doesn't lead that lap. All right, so now I'm back as the race leader. Didn't take long for me to get back after I made a little mistake. Going to turn number three, went up the racetrack and into the outside wall. That time I was fine there. Austin Dillon, look at that, three wide back there for the third spot. I thought I saw Kurt Busch on the outside lane, Austin Dillon in the middle, and then Dale Knight Jr. on the bottom lane. That's what I thought I saw. Boy, this car is starting to get tight. I should try running the bottom lane, see how how that goes. Or I at least run lower. See if the car will handle better down there. But other than me hitting the wall, really no major issues, I will say, in this race so far. We didn't have any cautions out at Talladega. Will we have any cautions here in this race? I don't know. The field seems to still be bunched up, except for me and Al Marola. We're we've pulled away. And then you have one car all by itself in last place right now. Other than that, the fields still seem bunched up. Alright, now 20 laps completed here at Kansas Speedway. I'm still the race leader. Eric Almirola second, Kurt Busch third, Dale Knight Jr. fourth. Now we're like four and a half seconds between first and third right now. Still between me and Almirola. So far, so good. Amarola is not letting me get away too far. I want to see if I can at least get to lap 40. That would be the halfway point. Three tenths now ahead of Eric Almorola. Alright, off turn number four right now. How about let's have a NASCAR 15 Let's Play style crank it up here at Kansas Speedway.
Side by side, bow for the lead here at Kansas Speedway. Eric Amarola on the inside, and I'm on the outside. He's caught me these last couple of laps, and he's been challenging me. I mean, Amarola, this whole entire race so far is not letting me get away easily. I said, I want to try to make it to the halfway point before I have to pit for fuel. So I know I could do this on one pit stop. Gonna catch that lap car soon. Don't know when. Don't even know who it is. Oh boy. A little bit high. Ooh, I stuck that car to the bottom pretty good. That's the first time I've held the bottom lane pretty good this whole entire race. As we got 50 laps to go here at Kansas Speedway. As I'm the race leader, Eric Amarola second, Dale Nigenia third. And Austin Dillon fourth. Yes, indeed. And that's Kurt Busch outside the top five. Now, I did say I want to get to the halfway point before I have to pit. But yeah, we're hitting this lap car soon. Tires are starting to wear off, especially the right side tires are looking bad. Amarola, once again, right there in my mirror. Just waiting for a move. Yeah, it looks like I'll be able to make it to the halfway point before I have to pit. Now, it looks like that group of cars is starting to spread out just a little bit. They're still kind of bunched up together, but it's spread it out a little bit. That's Michael McDowell, by the way, that's ahead of me right now. Not as the race leader, but like about to be put a lap down. Here comes Almirola for the race lead now. Underneath me. Off turn number two, side by side. Alright, McDowell, you need to get out of the way. 
Like, for real, so you need to get out of the way. I'm gonna try to go to the outside of him. Yes, please get out of the way. Yeah, please hold up Almirola. There you go. Fled most of this lap. Uh, led most of the laps of this race so far. Tell you what, that's probably the farthest I've gotten away from Eric Almirola. This entire race so far. Nine tenths now, and he finally got around Michael McDowell. In about a couple laps, it will be the halfway point here at Kansas Speedway. Michael McDowell coming down pit road right now, actually. Now the question is, how long do I stay out, you know? I want to try this, stretch it out a bit. Now that I know that I can make it on fuel, Eric Elmerola is still not coming in yet. All right, halfway point here at Kansas Speedway. In the 5 Air Energy 500, I'm the race leader. Eric Elmerola second, Dale Knight Jr. third, Austin Dillon fourth. I've led the most laps in this race so far. Let's just see what happens in the second half. Elmerola has the fastest lap of the race so far with a 29.77. Mine's a 29.78 on lap two. And boy, did I clip that apron. Didn't mean to go that low. Eric Amaral is still not coming in the pit yet. But several cars are coming down pit road right now. Oh, Michael and that why? He's going to have to fresh a tire, so he might get away easily, though. Boy, man, did I get tight off the corner. Oh, here comes Eric Amarola down pit road. Get out of the way, dude. Screw off. I knocked him out of the way. I did that on purpose. I don't care. Shouldn't be in the way, you know? Jimmy Johnson is back here. Jimmy Johnson finished terribly at uh, Talladega. And here he is back here now. Oh! Johnson, please. By the way, I did come in into this race with a 38-point lead. Ah, Casey Kane, new fast lap of the race, 29.75. See how Jimmy Johnson's pulling away from me after he got those fresher tires? I'm still staying out right now. I don't know if this is a smart idea for me to stay out with these worn tires as long as, as possible when these guys have fresher tires. Oh my gosh, look at that bunch. I feel like I should come down pit road next time by. I think I'm gonna do that before I get killed out here. Oh, I went, wow, I slid up the racetrack. Okay, Almendinger, you can go. 
Uh, 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 I didn't expect to be in this predicament. Ah, uh, damn, let me get to the bottom, please. Oh, don't slide up into, uh, Menard. Alright, I'm coming down pit road. Shit, I sped. Fuck me. God damn it. Damn it. I just rage, just pl unplug the headset. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back down pit road for a speeding penalty, guys. <sighs> Fuck! I can't believe I did that. I gotta get lucky with a caution. I gotta get lucky with a caution. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Watch the black flag come out. Oh, God damn it! I was trying to stay down the apron, but the car didn't want to come... Didn't want to stay on the apron. I came up in front of Tony, and as you did see, while I was almost spinning, I did get the black flag. So I need to come back down pit road right now. And there's Eric Amarola too. So I made it down pit road perfectly this time. Dale Earnhardt Jr. still stays out. Look at all these spots I'm losing right now. Son of a bitch. It ain't the only time I've gotten a speeding penalty on NASCAR 15 Let's Play. Ain't the only time, and probably won't be the last this season. I will guarantee you that right now. All right, here I go. Back out and away. Yep, 42nd right now. Sh shit. I gotta get lucky. Okay. Okay, can you not do that, please? I gotta get lucky with a caution somehow. Well, it's I'm done. This is what you call choke. This is exactly what you call choke. I choked it in this race. I mean, sometimes you get this, things happen like this, you know, like you have the dominant car. You could be the race, you can have the dominant car, you could be the race leader making a green flag piss up, all of a sudden speeding penalty and just ruins your race. And that's it for you. Son of a bitch. I can't believe that. <laughs> I just cannot believe it. I just cannot believe it. Behind me there, that's Eric Almarola. Dale Knight Jr. still not pitted yet. Kyle Busch is another driver that's not pitted yet. I want to cry. I want to cry right now. That's why I'm like, I should have came in earlier. I should have came in the same. You know what I should have done like I did at Talladega? Let the leader go by, and then whenever they come down pit road, follow them down pit road. And then have their sp uh, pit speed. I should have done that. But I did not do that. That's my own stupidity fault. I should have got... Let Amarola go. Ha
Honestly, I'd rather get a speeding penalty running second or third or fourth than getting it as the race leader. I, it hurts. Ugh. Oh. That hurts. There goes my phone. I just dropped my phone. Not that I care right now. Dale Knight Jr. is finally coming down pit road right now. Well, on the positive note, I am still moving up positions. Oh, Stenhouse, please, dude. Get out of the way. Oh my god, and then that time I slid up into him. So Tony Stewart now the race leader, and now here he comes down pit road. Slowing down now. Yep, I mean, at least I'm still moving up positions, so at least I'm not, it's not going to be like, I mean, yeah, it still sucks, don't get me wrong. Still sucks. I don't even know what lap I'm on, 61? I haven't even been paying attention to the laps, that's how upset I am. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm not going to even win this race now, it really don't matter. Wait, Dale Knight Jr. is the race leader again? How? Did he miss pit road or something? I don't know if he missed pit road. Wait, what, huh? Then where's Eric Almarola? I mean, whatever, you know? Brown Waltrip now. Waltrip, I'm not seeing you up in the top three in points all of a sudden. What's happening, buddy? Ah, oh, shit luck for me. I mean, it happens, you know. It's part of racing, you know. Sometimes you're going to have good luck. Sometimes you're going to have bad luck. Sometimes you could be the dominant car in a race. You could be leading the most of the laps in the race. And then you come down pit road for a green flag pit stop, you get a speeding penalty. It ha if it's happened in real life, it can happen to me here. So I guess I'm learning the hard way. Definitely. I could have probably had this race won too. Probably could have had a shot to win this race if I didn't do it. 
do what I just did, and that's speeding coming down pit road. Like I said, from now on, I'm just gonna get behind someone, like whoever's behind me, if I'm leading the race and, and whoever's behind me in a second, I'll let them go so I can follow them down pit road whenever they come down pit. On the positive note, at least I'll get, be able to get to finish on the lead lap, not lap down. So that's something, right? And still no juniors lean with 15 laps to go. At least I'll crack the top 30. If I get around Ty Dillon, Michael Annette, and uh, I believe that's Ryan Newman. Oh boy. Oh, I so want to get around Ty Dillon. Thank you. Cheerios, get out of here. I want to cry. I want to cry right now. <laughs> oh, but because I could have had a shot to win this race and I fucked up. And I fucked up really bad. I'm in 30th right now. I would love to be leading the race. And Dale Knight Jr. is still leading the race right now. He must have had a good pit stop if he's still staying out front. I could probably pass, catch up to these guys and get by them. I probably could have been up to 26 right now had I not, I mean, had my car try to stay down the apron and not come up into Tony Stewart and almost spun myself out. Because I was trying to stay as low to the apron as I can. By the way, we got 10 laps to go. Dale Jr. is the race leader. Okay, Josh Wise, please, like, get out of the way. I'm not screwing around with underfunded teams right now. Let me just get on by you, okay? And Harvick's back here as well. Well, we got three wipe out for the 23rd spot or something? Good lord. By the way, Ryan Blaney has the fast slap of the race so far with the 2967. And I haven't set any new fast laps and not going to be able to. As Dale Knight Jr. is leaning with eight laps to go. I'm trying to get around Harvick right now. myself right now. I didn't think I was going to be back here battling for 28th in the final laps. Oh, but I guess I am.
Oh boy. Dale Nart Jr. leads with five laps to go now. Oh man, Regan Smith, come on, dude! Don't get mad because I beat you at Texas. Oh shit! Harvick slowed down in front of me for whatever hell reason. And I got in the back of him, collected him into the wall and Regan Smith. Jesus Christ. I am so ready for this race to be over and move on to the all-star race at Charlotte. That's the next race. So I've had it with this race, honestly. Dale Knight Jr. leads with three laps to go now. I didn't mean to get in the back of Harvick there. It's just he slowed down for whatever reason. I don't know why. Now I'm trying to get around him. Doesn't look like he's working right now. Hmm. Son of a bitch, tight. Oh, man, two laps to go for Dale Knight Jr. As I'm side by side with Harvick now for 27th on the outside lane. And I did get around him. Alrighty. It looks like 27th may be all I get now. This doesn't look like I'm going to catch McMurray. To get up to 26. All right, white flag is out. Final lap for Dale Earnhardt Jr. here at Kansas. As I'm down the back straightaway, next time by, I'll be taking the white flag. At least I'll finish on the lead lap, but not where I thought I was going to finish. Thought I was going to be battling for the win or being contention for the win. Ah, I hit the wall. Not that I care anymore. Ah. And off turn number four. Dale Nart Jr. is going to win the 5 RNG 500 here at Kansas Speedway. As I'm coming off turn number two down the back straight away for the final time. And going into turn number three. And then now coming off turn number four. I'm going to smack the wall. And I'm just going to just go in the grass because I don't care. Just let it go smack the wall. 26th place finish. That is unfortunate. I am so disappointed in myself. And I, and I did it to myself. I mean, I was the one that got the speeding penalty, so I have no one else to blame but myself for that. It is what it is, though, I guess. You know, just going to have to move on. So, Dale Knight Jr. gets the win here at Kansas Speedway. Eric Amarola second. Austin Dillon third. Kyle Busch fourth. Kyle Larson fifth. Kurt Busch sixth. Casey Kane seventh. Tony Sir eighth. Ryan Blaney ninth. He set the... Fastest lap of the race with a 29.67 lap 44. And Greg Biffle rounds up the top 10. Brian Vickers 11th. Brad Keselowski 13th. Joey Lacau 15th. Matt Kenseth 16th. Jimmy Johnson 18th. Danica Patrick 19th. And Paul Menard rounds up the top 20. 21st, Trevor Bain. 24th, Carl Edwards. 25th, Jamie McMurray. I finished 26th and led the most laps in this race. Could have been in contention to win the race if I didn't get the damn speeding penalty. But like I said, my fault. No one else to blame but myself. Kevin Harvey, 27th, and Ryan Newman rounds up the top 30. 31st, Josh Weiss. 32nd, Mark Truex Jr. 35th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 36th, Danny Hamlin. 39th, Jeff Goyne. I don't know what the hell happened to Jeff Goyne. He started second in this race. And he didn't even finish a lap down either. Casey Mears rounds up the top 40. Chase Elliott 41st, Michael McDowell 42nd, and Bobby Labine finishes 43rd and in last place. Let's check out the point standings right now. Ah, oh my god. Alright, I'm moving on to the next race. It is what it is. Can't do anything about that speeding penalty. You know, you're going to have shit luck like that where you're, in, you're dominating... A race, you're leading a lot of laps, and all of a sudden you come down pit road as the race leader and get a speeding penalty. It happens. You know, if it happens in real life NASCAR, it can happen here, it can happen to me. 
However, I still have a 31 point lead over Tony Stewart going into the All-Star race. Now, the All-Star race don't count for points or a win. You're just going to try to win virtual million. Carl Edwards third in points. He is uh, 36 points back. Matt Kenseth fourth in points. He is uh, 47 points back. And rounding up the top five in points is uh, Joey Legal, 51 points back. And rounding up the top 10 points is Colwitt right now. And where's Dale Knight Jr.? Dale Knight Jr. got the win. However, he's not in the top, above the top 30 in points, so he really needs some more work done. Wow, Jimmy Johnson's back here? Good Lord. All right. <laughs> That's uh, you technics for you. All right, so next race is going to be at Kansas Speedway. Uh, not Kansas Speedway. Godly, I said the same thing. I was like, I'll see you at Richmond when I already did the Richmond race. I'll see you in the All-Star race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's just going to be a fun race. Going for virtual million dollars. So I will see you at Charlotte for the All-Star race.